Hey, this is J Love from the Nana. I'm sorry I haven't been doing a lot of footage lately. I'm just like playing, being hiding. Um, today I went to the dollar store and got um, body wash, and then I went to my job, Baby Zara's, because when it's your birthday, I'm a co-worker. She makes a cake for you, and you write down when your birthday is, like the month, during the month, and but you can do what kind of cake you want, frosting and all the toppings. So my birthday was on Monday. I turned 25, so I went with my brother to go get it because I don't drive, and I was like, it's so big and it's like so heavy, and I serve all this stuff. And lately, um, my life, my my personal life is good. It's great. But then my brother's ex boyfriend, he's like really crazy, and he's trying to make our our lives a living hell. And so he, hmm, of course, my brother's gay, but um, um, he he was living with us. And my brother told him to get out the house. So he wouldn't move because he's saying we owe him $300. Like how the hell are we going to owe him $300? He came here. He lived rent free for three months. And so when he came back, he went somewhere and left like a whole day and came back. Well, during the whole day, my, um... My mom changed the locks because she's a landlord. And so he came home. He realized the locks were changed. So he was banging on the door. And I was upstairs. And I saw the car because my front window is the parking lot. And, and my brother stays in the back of the other bedroom. And it was so scary. And so finally, he started smoking the house. We don't do smoking, and he called a cop saying, "Oh, it's my house. He won't let me in." He didn't pay a damn thing in his house. So the cops came, and um, they told me, um, since I'm disabled, that if he tries to touch me or anything. He can get arrested because, or if I get hurt, um, because it's like a felony if, um, have you heard a disabled person? And so he, the cop was really, really nice. And um, so I'm keep looking on this guy, nervous. And he came out. My mom was talking to him outside. So my brother's ex-boyfriend will look, see what we're doing. And so he was telling my mom that we should get a restraining order. And so on him, and he doesn't even know, he didn't even know. So he was trying to make a, a, our lives a living hell. So the other day, we got him a restraining order. We went downtown to get it, and we were both panicking. And so he left, and we noticed that he he tore the house up. He 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 tries to make all the bells high, and like um make the air really really just really cold. Sixty five in his house. He he was smoking in the house. It was disgusting. And um what else? He was um, making up the beds go high, like he was reading movies on the cable box, and like he put ashes, he put ashes all over the sink, and um, he put ashes all over the sink, and in the nice sink, it was disgusting. That was the ha that's why the house smelled like so. Um, and then, 
Yeah. So he was just laying down and then we called the cops and we came back and he left and he can't come back for 30 days. But my brother has a court day on the 24th. And so, and then he was starting to text my mom at work, fucking her with her life. And, I'm sorry, and he was like sending her text messages while she was at work. And like messing with her, and like, come on, you know. And so, oh Lord, um, I'm sorry. I have to look. Bye bye.